What's up guys? It is Olivia aka Lee Spy Live and today is the start of week two of the Shoe Surgeon Online School. So it is actually day eight total and this week I am going to be focusing on putting my bonding my materials together and sewing them to get them ready for the next step. Today I am going to be learning how to assemble my sewing machine and that's basically it for today. So I'm going to be watching a video, it's like a half hour video, and then I'll try to assemble my sewing machine. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is my sewing machine, just a regular brother sewing machine. And I'm gonna figure out where to plug this stuff in and set this thing up. What's up? Today is day nine of the shoe surgeon school, week two, and my new leather came in finally. So, it actually came in a day early, but now I can finish my last step from last week. I have to trace a couple more pieces, cut them out, and then skyball my leather and make the registration marks on the flip side of my leather. So that is what I will be doing today. So let's get into it. Here's what my shoe will look like now with the tongue done, the collar done. Okay, now I've made all my registration marks on the outer pieces. So now it's time to skive the leather. What's up? Today is day 10 of the Shoe Surgeon Online School. This is week two, and today I will be putting together my sewing machine. I had said that a couple of days ago. I learned about it and watched the video a couple of days ago, but today I'm actually going to be putting the needles and everything together, and then I will be practicing sewing different patterns on my leather. <laughs> that I did for the first day. That one's kind of bent and stuff, but not too bad for the first day. Still getting the hang of it. Catch you guys tomorrow. What's up guys? It is day 11 of the shoe surgeon class. So yesterday I practiced on my sewing machine and sewing different leathers together. And today I will be taking that skill and knowledge from yesterday and I will be putting all of my pieces, I will bond them together with tape or glue and then I will sew them together. So I should have most of my shoe put together today. Or so I thought. Um, it'll be flat but it will be bonded and sewed together. So I'm excited. This should take a probably a long time but let's get into it. What's up guys? It is day 12 of the Shoe Surgeon Online and today I'm going to be basically doing what I have been doing for the last couple days and it is just sewing materials together, bonding them so that I have the same image that I was talking about yesterday. So this step is going to take a little longer than in the last video where it was like one step each day. This is like a couple days of the same step. So I will show you what I'm doing today.
I went to the store and got an assortment of different thread. There's navy there. Cause at first I only had this white one and I want everything to match so that the navy will be on the navy and the white will be on the white obviously and black will be on black. So I think I'm all set now. everything stitched. I could not get this to go across because it's too thick and my machine can't handle it. That's all messed up. But this one looks a lot better. So yeah. Alright, what's up guys? It is day 15 of the Shoe Surgeon Online School and this video is going to be kind of all over the place. I did not record intros for every day because this week has been extremely stressful. So the home sewing machine that I have, they said would work for the class, which is why I did not get another one. Now the leather that they provided is extra thick. So the machine that I have is not equipped to sew through thick leather. And the steps this week that I had to do were to sew my pieces together. And in previous clips, I skived the leather down so it's super thin, but because it's already so thick and certain parts are overlapped one, two, three times, my machine jammed so much. So the clips that I have are literally just my machine jamming, the thread getting all bunched up, just a bunch of just mistakes and stuff. And it was just super frustrating and discouraging. So I have to make a decision if I want to invest in a new machine or just try and work with the machine I have. Right now I'm gonna try and work with the machine, but I'm not the only one having this issue in our group. So the way the class works is there's a group discussion thing that you can post on and so many people are having the exact same issues with their home sewing machines. Now the people who got regular industrial machines, which are thousands of dollars, they are doing fine because th those machines are built for leather. But the machine that I have is not, even though I thought it would work. They made it seem like it would work. So. Yeah, that's where I'm at. It was just a very frustrating, discouraging week with the school, but it's still a great program. I'm not gonna bash it or anything. I'm just giving my real perspective. They might even change this next go around and say, you know, we don't suggest using home sewing machines because this, this, and this. So who knows, but this week, I think I'm just going to take it slow. A lot of people are falling behind because of this and that's the good thing about this class is that it's flexible, it's go at your own pace. Yes, they give certain targets to follow along with, but it's really go at your own pace. So this is going to be the end of week two. I will show you what I have done. So this is the two dimensional version of my shoe. Everything is sewed together. Um, this is the area that I just can't get to go over. Like it's just too thick, if you could see it. It's just, it bulks out there, but I did the swoosh, I did this, I did all of that, I sewed it together. Now, <laughs> this is the bad one. This is the one that my machine, see where it's white here? That is not supposed to be white, that's supposed to be navy. And that's the bobbin thread pulling through. It totally went off the swoosh there. It just jammed so much here. And you can see it on the back, like jam, 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 jam. All the times that it jammed is just ridiculous. So um, I've definitely learned some lessons through this. I've learned to thin my leather out even more so than they explained. So I'm gonna try that and see what happens. Yeah, that was week two. So I will see you for week three. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. Drop a thumbs up, keep 
the positivity alive. Let me know that this is going to be okay, that I'm gonna get through this. I need that encouragement right now. Drop a like. Turn your post notifications on so that you do not miss week three. Week three, my shoe is gonna start coming together a lot more. So that'll be next video. And thank you for following my journey and I'll see you next time. Peace.